What's up, my friend? Today I'll be reacting to Greatest Speech in American History by Abraham Lincoln. This should be a fascinating one. But before I go into that, can I ask you for one thing? If you can leave a like on this one, thank you so much, my friend. This is the best way to show support. If you can subscribe, well, in that case, forget about it. You make my day. Have that in consideration. Now, link for the original video in my description. I'm a huge fan of Abraham Lincoln, so let's play it. I'm super curious, by the way, because I don't know this uh, speech. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Okay, that's already super, super strong, what he said there. And... Uh, I know I post too much. I already apologize for that. But uh, do you guys agree Abraham Lincoln is number one or number two? I think it depends between George Washington and, and him, right? But uh, at least top 40 is for sure. I know he's, he's in the Mount uh, Rushmore of best presidents ever. But uh, this guy could be the number one. Is is crazy to say that? Or do you guys think George Washington is really that much ahead? Because I also love Washington. But... Um, there is something to me, of course, and again, I'm, I'm not even American, but there is something more special about Abraham Lincoln. I, this guy gives us a, a genius type of, uh, you know, vibe, aura. I, I'm not sure if I'm explaining myself that well, but uh, I, I really like him. And all men are created equal. No doubt about that. Now we are engaged in a great civil war testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. So, <laughs> I know another pause there. Uh, the thing is, at, at, the end of the, at the end of this first uh, play, I will play again the, the speech without any type of pauses. But uh, I think this was the most difficult moment ever in America. Would you guys agree? The Civil War. Because if you really think about if you have one side of the country, the South versus the North, that's I, I, I get the American Revolution was also super important, but this one was crazy, right, my friends? And until this day, this is not that well I mean in from from interacting with, with you in the comments, feel uh, there is some people from the south that they still think the history is, is tell should be told in a different way. Um, I don't know. Um, controversial topic. I'm aware. I don't want to go very deep into politics, but I believe this was the most difficult moment ever in America. You know, this could could actually break or or, or not the, the the nation. And and I thought Abraham Lincoln did a great job. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who here gave their lives that that nation might live. Mm. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate. We cannot consecrate. We cannot hallow this ground. The brave men, living and dead, who struggled here have consecrated it, far oh. above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little note, nor long remember what we say here, but it can never... Okay, this is so powerful, but I would say one thing. The world with little note nor longer remember what we say here. And this is one of the most famous speeches ever from, from what you guys are recommending. So he was wrong on this one because uh, he became that special, that icon. Um, but th this is very powerful. Do you guys agree with me? And this is giving me a bit of, you know, chills. Th this is super powerful. Or forget what they did. And I got um. So if you guys never watched my reaction to the the American uh, Civil War, I got I I was not aware that Abraham Lincoln died at the end. I was like, oh my god, life is so unfair, and still pisses me off. I have to admit. Here, 
It is for us, the living, rather, to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought mm. here have thus far so nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us, that from these honored dead we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion. That we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain. That this nation, under God, shall have a new birth of freedom. And that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. Oh, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry. This I, I I had high expectations because when you guys recommended Abraham Lincoln, I thought, yeah, this will be great. It was even greater than I thought. This was amazing from the beginning oh, to to the end. By the way, should I react to this one? I also like Teddy Roosevelt a lot. I, I watched a video from him doing a, a speech after taking a bullet, which I thought was fake, but he's actually real. Um, Leave me the number two, you know, if you want me to react to, to this one. This type of videos are, are a bit different. They, they will probably even be a bit shorter, but uh, I love this type of stuff. So let's play it from the beginning. No pauses now. And that was powerful. Holy moly. Four okay, I lied. One pause already. I will put from the beginning. But uh, look, if I was an American around this time and I or that, that speech, I would fight for this guy. 100%. <laughs> you know? Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who here gave their lives that that nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hallow this ground. The brave men, living and dead, who struggled here have consecrated it far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little note nor long remember what we say here, but it That's can so never powerful. forget what they did here. It is for us, the living rather, to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us, that from these honored dead we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion, that we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain, that this nation, under God, shall have a new birth of freedom and that government of the people, by the people, for the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. You know, I'm going to say something that um, a couple of you guys will get mad, but how did you guys went from <laughs> Abraham Lincoln to Joe Biden? You know, because the other day, this was New Zealand, also in Portugal, Joe Biden Cognitive abilities are not there, or at least something are missing. He keeps messing up words, stuff, and you look at the speech of, of a guy like like uh, Abraham Lincoln, so sharp, 
so perfect, so smart. Look, even if you are a Joe Biden fan, you have to admit, this is not comparable. Am I crazy? And to be honest, you can say probably the same for Trump. This guy was different. This guy was different. Right, my friends? America really had amazing uh, leaders slash presidents, you know, Washington, Abraham Lincoln, Jeff Thomas, um, Teddy Roosevelt. You guys really, I'm sorry, but you guys really had the, the reason, I believe the main reason for America to be such an amazing country is the people, first of all. But I also believe the people translates into leaders, great leaders, and you guys had great leaders. I don't know. A couple of you guys disagree. And look, I'm not even telling you that uh, Biden is better than Trump or Trump. I don't care about that at all. But uh, just looking at one thing and looking at this is the difference is, is night and day, my friends. That said, if you want me to react to the Teddy Roosevelt uh, uh, speech, leave me a comment and, and I will do it. I, I like these short videos and uh, we can... Uh, I, I can do a bunch of them if you guys want to. So, yeah, leave me a like and uh, see you guys next time. And that's it for today, my friends. Hope you end up enjoying this video. If that's the case, do not forget to leave a like. Also, consider to subscribe if you are new to my channel. And also, let me remember you about one thing. I have a Patreon community. I put videos there a bit earlier than I put on YouTube. So, if you want to support me and have access to early content, go to my uh, Patreon. I will leave a link on my description. Take a look at that. You can also scan the QR code you'll be seeing here. And uh, that's it.